Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at the 2023 Nissan X-Trail. It's just me and the car today, like the good old days filming with the GoPro POV style. Now this is a base trim model, so I think it's going to be good for those looking for a budget uh, SUV uh, and a very popular one like the Nissan X-Trail. You can see the completely redesigned front end, kind of looks aggressive. You can see the V-Motion grille on the new Nissans and as well the new logo with the white outline. Let me know what you think of this new logo basically. Split headlights that everybody's doing nowadays. I really like this trend. You can see we have the LED daytime rear lights on the top with the light signals obviously they're incandescent lights which is kind of a shame honestly uh, down at the bottom even uh, but I mean yeah it, they look pretty cool on the score we do have air curtains over here for the airflow and then cooling down at the bottom uh, this car shares the same platform as the Mitsubishi Outlander uh, it has the same 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine the natural aspirated powertrain that you've been seeing from Nissan for a very long time but I mean it works uh, it, it's torquey we do have a CVT transmission on this car I'm gonna mention more about it now the thing is you have an eight-speed manual mode so it feels like you're shifting but you're actually not uh, so yeah a lot of people have been complaining about the CVT and they managed to fix it sort of with this eight-speed uh, feel but I mean let me know what you think of the silhouette of this car the profile is really nice especially with the white and the black roof uh, we can see plastic down at the bottom so I just turned the car so we can have a better view of this rear end again you can see that it's been redesigned and I love those angular sections you can see how this section over here just kind of floats now one thing is that the trunk release is down at the bottom and not under the R or the Nissan logo which is pretty interesting now don't forget it's called Rogue in the US over here in the Middle East and everywhere in the world basically it's called the X Trail again not LED lights which is kind of a shame I mean uh, for a car in this segment in 2023 I feel like we would need uh, LED lights but I mean this is a base model uh, the better versions have a chrome uh, bar over here down at the bottom but we do have sensors which is uh, really interesting opening up the trunk obviously not automatic on this car we have seven seats on this model how you do it you simply pull on this I believe this is how it goes up there we go so yeah and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna jump over here in the back but I mean yeah it's not very practical for large adults it's basically for small children over here you have more space and I believe you can put this here if you were to do that there we go so yeah uh, there's a place for this a shelf you want to put this down you simply pull on here and this goes down obviously you can pull this so it fits uh, you can see it's an issue over <laughs> here I had this issue before you can see the seat belt so you cannot really do it one-handed because it's gonna struck that um, we're gonna jump in the interior because the interior I believe is kind of disappointing for me because wait for it let me just jump inside wait for it guys yup this is it we do not have any screen inside <laughs> it's so funny I mean 2023 and we still get those very basic stuff uh, audio quality is actually not bad on this car so yeah the speakers are good but I mean I don't know what this is I mean they kind of ruined the whole vibe with this tiny screen it does have Bluetooth but I mean yeah very annoying for, for me personally so this is the base steering wheel that you get on the new uh, Nissan X-Trail you can see only have one empty button over here but that's it I believe this is for your lane departure warning and whatnot we do have cruise control which is nice to see and this is how you control your volume and your tracks uh, over here you can scroll between the various modes uh, basically on the small display it's actually very high quality very familiar to other Nissan slash Infinity uh, products but I do like those gauges they're pretty dated obviously we've had those for a very long time at uh, Nissan but I mean I think they they work you can see over here soft touch materials all around which is nice uh, to have honestly this is kind of a synthetic leather but I mean it looks nice with the uh, stitching uh, over here now on the higher trim levels you get a display for the climate control on this model you simply have a knob and you know you simply rotate it to get to whatever you want you don't have any indication for what fan speed or temperature uh, you're aiming for I mean yeah it's pretty basic and it's easy to use honestly not, not a big deal you can see over here again the nice uh, trim that you have door handles and automatic window only for the driver over here is just like the good old days old-fashioned stuff start sub button is down at the bottom now the higher trim levels get uh, wireless phone charging we do not have it on this car we do have a 12 volt power outlet and one USB a port um, I believe you get the USB C if it's again the higher trim level with the bigger screen we do have two bigger screens uh, on these cars uh, which again I think this should have been like the base model should have the smaller screen and then the bigger trim level has the more advanced screen not this crappy system <laughs> over here uh, sorry Nissan but I mean yeah this is what I have to say about this new key fob uh, so yeah it feels plastic but I mean it's a new one so yeah that's nice unlock and locking the vehicle uh, from here uh, your gear selector is honestly really cool and the way you operate it simply slide it over here uh, pressing on to go into reverse we don't have a backup camera but we do have rear sensors as I mentioned earlier pressing on P to go back to park uh, now the paddle shifters as I mentioned it makes you feel like you're shifting gears I'm gonna take it for a drive and show you what it feels like they're plasticky but I mean they're 
nah, they have a nice feel. I love, I love their clicking sound. Uh, glove boxes, I have my backpack over here. Uh, glove box is pretty small, but I mean, it does the job. You can fit a few stuff over here. Opening up this now, this is probably my favorite part of the car. Look how premium this looks. The center armrest, again, uh, nicely padded. I'm gonna mention the driving modes in a second, but I mean, it's very deep. You can fit a lot of stuff, and there's a place to put your key or whatnot. So yeah, small details that I like from the Japanese. Two cup holders. The cup holders, a lot of people complain that they're pretty wide, and they are. Uh, I don't really have a bottle of water. I think I do. So I have this bottle of water for my workout, and even this kind of shakes, it's not really in place. Uh, usually water bottles are way thinner than this, so, so yeah, if this moves around, then obviously the others are gonna just jump. Uh, but I mean, putting it in the door bin, so yeah, this fits, uh, I, I believe it can fit two or three uh, water bottles over here in the center. Uh, so yeah, really nice uh, stuff. Now the driving mode, again, since we're nitpicking here, I, I need to mention about that. So the driving modes, you have five driving modes basically, going on to um, off-road, snow, auto, eco, and then sport. And now the thing is, you simply rotate, right, to change your driving mode. If you keep on rotating, it will turn and if I go the other way now this is sport right if you simply rotate so it's gonna keep on rotating there isn't any you know like dead end to it um, I feel like just makes it less premium I don't know it's just me nitpicking but I mean I thought I'd mention it not, it's not a big deal we do have hill descent assist from this button over here let's jump in the back seat see how practical this thing is uh, we do have over here a place to put your sunglasses and then your reading lights so what does a base Nissan x -ray get you in the back first of all again this nice material with obviously a power windows and then a door bin now at the bottom nice cubby space and then speakers jumping inside I'm sitting behind myself we don't have plenty amount of leg room now, excuse me I just uh, you know dirtied up myself exploring in the woods over here but I mean one cool thing is that you can move the seats forward and back so yeah I have even more leg room right now which is insane really big thumbs up for that practicality and I can even recline the seat take a look at that by simply pulling on here let me just put my GoPro and show you excuse me for the bad camera angle again as I said I'm filming all this alone with you guys so let me just show you you can move the seat forward and back as such so yeah amazing leg room and the basically you can recline the seat so yeah very comfortable if you're going on a long drive uh, you simply put this up come on go up there we go all right so yeah this is me sitting and then we do have a center oh we don't have center armrest what there we go all right so so we do have center armrest uh, for what the place to put your phone this is an example right here simply put this over here yes yeah, it's, it's pretty damn tiny and the cup holders over here are slightly smaller than the ones in the front so yeah this is this is nice um pretty comfortable seating all right so i'm gonna just sleep my way through the day <laughs> and then i forgot to mention we have two air vents and then a usb charging port uh, and obviously it's more cubby space over here now to get into the seventh row of seat this is how you put this forward and then pull this from the bottom now it's pretty uh, hard to do it with one hand all right so i push the seat as much as i can and jumping into the seventh row of seat is going to be pretty tight honestly not very practical but we have this in the way so i'm gonna simply click on here and get this out of the way for us to there we go for us to jump into the back i'm just gonna put it that way all right so yeah let's jump into the back wow okay this is very tight this is i'm just squeezing myself right now come on baby move out all right so yeah um this is going to be you know, honestly, it's not that bad, but I mean, this is how I have to put the seat. So if someone's sitting here, he's basically gonna play with my feet. Uh, so yeah, not, not enough leg room for anybody to sit in front of me. Uh, this is basically for very small children, but what do these children get? Uh, a cup holder and then a cubby space over here. And then a small window, as you can see in the back. All right, so I guess this is gonna be it for the practicality test. Throw off seat isn't ideal for a person like me. I'm 186 centimeters and yeah, it's, it's a pretty tight squeeze. I'm gonna jump over here to the driver's seat and then go for a drive, see how this car performs, especially with that uh, new CVT. So we're setting off in the 2023 Nissan X-Trail. Uh, first impressions of this car, steering wheel feels nice in your hands, even though it's a bit thin. Uh, I would prefer a leather steering wheel, obviously. Now the seats, aren't the most ideal honestly i don't want to start with the negatives but i mean yeah the seats could be improved i, I don't really like uh you know they're not very comfortable towards the back uh so yeah i feel like with long drives it's gonna get a bit annoying um now as i mentioned we have a cvt transmission but it has an kind of like an eight speed manual transmission which is kind of weird uh, i'm gonna show you one once we you know 
slightly get some accelerations. Now, in terms of suspension, it's actually great damping. The roads over here aren't the greatest. So yeah, a lot of potholes on this uh, road and the car is honestly doing amazing. Now this car is all wheel drive, front wheel drive biased, but uh, once you know you need that extra traction, it will send it to the rear. We do have a limited slip differential uh, in the back. So you can't control any of the off-road settings. You can simply go into off-road mode and then you know the car would basically know what to do exactly i believe a lot of people don't really understand what the cvt transmission is and how it works now this car has a cvt with an eight speed manual mode what well, this is basically nissan fixed you know this non-shifting feel of a transmission and made it feel more intuitive for people but it's still a cvt that does not shift any gears and listen to how it works all right i'm going to show you how in the rpms so this is me flooring the car listen to it There is no any shifting involved. It's just going up in the RPMs and then going down, going up and going down. It makes you feel like it's shifting, but it's not. And we can actually downshift. So yeah, 